back to farming and garden. It's been quite a while since we've been out at the farm. I'm having problems with the rake. But welcome back. It's it is currently I'm pretty sure November 5th. Yeah, November 5th. We're raking hay. I told you I'd try and get some film on the third cutting on uh, my rake keeps like clotting up at the bottom it's not wet it's dry it's so dry out here but like it's just keeps clotting up under the rake see how thick it is that's why it's doing that so this will be a shorter video let's get caught up so it's been three months since I filmed a video. Three, three, two months, something, something like that. Uh, things that have happened. The kittens that were in the video, they're all grown up now. Like, they're bigger kittens. Uh, we got all the hay mode. It's done for the year. As you can see, I'm raking, and on the other hay field is grandpa he's head in the hay over there grandpa's ten the hay I already tended this field with this 30 10 I said this whole field and then he took the old pace DC that we have and he just took it out there he started Ted he put me on the rake Yeah, so this is just a little catch-up video. This is uh, hay, third cutting part one. What's been going on? Well, all the beans are still here, as you can see. The corn is ready to go, and the beans are. But our combine broke down, and we're not doing them. So the neighbor's coming over uh, in three days to go do them. I won't be here, so I can't get the film out of it. So, I gotta push this row over here. So, what else has been happening? Well, we got the oil in the 3010 chains. Uh, we got, let's see. We fixed the 20, it had a problem. We got our big tractor out, the 4430. John Deere, we got the Alice Chalmer out too. We've been doing a lot. Up at the barns, the loader tractor and the hay mowing tractor in a big old case. It's uh they're sitting out there because they're waiting to get used. The case needs to be unhooked from the mower. And what else? The loader needs to get ready for picking bales again. And I gotta put the bale fork back on this. That'll be fun. So we got the old 3010 here. 1963 engine, it goes. We decided to use it on the rake because it worked better than the 20. The 20 won't start. This one barely started. It was 25 degrees last night. Look at all that hay on the back. I gotta get that done. Yeah, I'm just going until that sun hits the, the woods down there. Uh, yeah, we haven't got the beans off. We haven't got the corn off. Uh, it's cold out. It is cold. It's like, I don't know, 37 out here. I'm in sixth gear. So let's see. Let's see, sixth gear. Sixth gear, that is 
probably going six or four mile an hour. Probably five. Right, right in between there. I'm probably going five mile an hour. You got a lot of hay here. It's really thick. Surprising for third cutting. I got all this to do, which I'm doing tomorrow. I'll get a lot of film out of that. We're bailing tomorrow too. And let's see. Got the Oliver's still hooked up on that disc. So we gotta leave it in the barn for next year. The Model A, it's all put away for the year. We could get it out again. It's able to get it out. We like driving it. We gotta get our Model 50 out though. We have a John Deere 50. That's the first tractor I ever drove. We gotta get it out. So in front of the, okay, the 50 is in the corner of the barn. There's another tractor right behind it, how we have to back it out. So we can't get the 50 out because there's a fertilized spreader on the other side of it. So imagine this, 50, fertilized spreader, Model A, Model M. The Model M won't start at all. We can't get it started, we can't do anything with it. So, uh, tractor mechanics coming at the end of November to come and pick it up and then we'll be able to get the 50 out. For the wagons, for the corn, I'm either gonna use this or our big Case 830. We're gonna see which one works best. The reason why I didn't film these roads is because it kept bunching up and I had to set the rake a couple times. I hope you all enjoyed this and Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you want to, and I guess I'll see you later. Bye-bye.